to show you these aqua pastels that uh, Jane Davenport sent me and they're they remind me a lot of uh, the neo color so they're they're basically watercolor crayons uh, and look at how cute this tin is this is so great I love her art on everything and the colors they pick they're all my favorite so I love it and I love adding it to my collection it's beautiful and uh, look inside here uh, I, I did swatch these out, and they're all very, very pretty colors. Um, they're all named after artists, so if you've seen Jane's video, she talked about that as well. She has so much fun naming them, and I just have fun looking at the names. So we have Monet, um, Gauguin, Lauracine, Cezanne, uh, Lauracine, Cezanne um, Frida, Dolly, uh, Ingress, Michelangelo, Van Gogh, Botticelli, Da Vinci, and tell, I'm not sure on this one, this last green one. Maybe you guys know. You can tell me. I'm going to look that artist up. But anyway, I had this uh, drawing, uh, watercolor, in my journal, and it was just, I don't know, I thought it was boring. It wasn't done. I don't know. There's something about it. And so I decided to Janeify it because I, I did this with my, um, my, uh, Daniel Smith watercolors, and so I, I got these, and I thought, oh, okay, well, let's liven this up, you know, and Jane, of course, you use Jane's products, and it's going to pop off the page, jump off, scream art joy, so I uh, started with a uh, dolly here, and I added to her hair and her lips, and uh, these write really nicely, um, they're fun to draw with, again, they remind me a lot of the Neo color watercolor crayons, so um, if you've used those and like those, th these are I would guess a lot more affordable. Plus, they're packaged so super cute. They have little Jane's little drawings on them. So I just I just drew with them and added because um, this color matched really closely to um, what I already had on my paper. Because well, my favorite colors are pink and like turquoise. So and Jane seems to have a lot of that in her uh, supply line. So again, I'm just naturally drawn to her supplies. Uh, but they work great, um, so I just I kept using them, and then I added some of the Botticelli to the eyes, which really livened those up as well, um, and just had a lot of fun playing with these. They're super easy to use, um, and then this, uh, this, uh, Gauguin, it's a, or, no, I'm so, sorry, this is Laura, Got it confused. This is Laura Laurencine. I confuse Gauguin. I don't have to correct my swatch page here, but so Laurencine is the lighter um, skin color, and then um, Gauguin is the darker one. I think those are great flesh tones, uh, and it it fit right in on my drawing. So I uh, I was adding that, and they're like I said, super easy to use. You just draw with them, and then you get a brush with water, and you can blend them out. <coughs> out. Excuse me, and you can leave some of your lines um, So then you see some of the drawing and then you can you can blend the rest out um, The this lovely uh, Violet color here lavender in Ingress I use that for shading. I like that color a lot. It's very pretty um, Oh this travel brush. Holy cow. Look at this Has her name on there. It's gold. Look how that brush just pops out now I have other travel brushes and you actually have to put the lid on them and I get frustrated because sometimes the uh, bristles will spread out when you put the lid on like they don't, don't stay a point like so I have to have it wet and like pointy and this this one you don't even have to worry about that because of the way it opens it's like genius me and my son call this the ninja travel brush because it's stealth it's awesome and um the point on this thing too is amazing so you can use it you know uh, for little bigger washes and uh, the, then the point, like to get the details, this has like an amazing point and it stays at that point. Like even when the brush dries out, it has this amazing point. So I love this brush and I will probably get more. Um, so this, and it holds a ton of water. Like when you dip it in the water, it, it holds a lot of water. I don't know what the bristles are made out of, but um, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's totally synthetic, but 
it holds a lot of water. So um, I love it. I think it's great for um, bringing with you, and it fits right in any of her watercolor tins. So it's it's an awesome brush. So again, if you can get your hands on one, I'm a big fan. I have a lot of brushes, and I I like you know I, I feel like I. I'm not super picky, but when I find one I like, you know, I, I stick to it. And this one's great. I mean, I have um, some that are, you know, more natural fiber and hold a lot of water. But uh, this one, synthetic, I mean, holds a ton of water and it works awesome. And you can press it down a bit and it spreads out pretty good. I mean, it's not a huge brush, but like if you're doing a huge painting or something. But I, I used it on the background in this painting and I used it... Um, on bigger areas it, it worked great um, so again can't say enough good things about this brush I seriously love this brush but um so uh, kudos to Jane and her designers because it's awesome and look at these colors watch her lips this is so cool because when I was doing this her lips just they, they um, like started to pop off the page with, with adding uh, some of these crayons so these crayons are just awesome so they're called, she called them aqua pastels, and she said pastels, you know, it's a fancier name for crayon. So you gotta love that. But um, it's just awesome because, you know, I'm, I'm adding this, and so my watercolor, it was, there wasn't a lot of contrast in there. And um, so when you add these, they just do, are very vibrant. So they, they, they pump it up. And, um, you know, Danielle Smith has some really nice uh, pinks. And then her her pinks in here complement. I know she like I think she likes Daniel Smith quite a bit as well. So um, you know the colors go go well together if you use any Daniel Smith paints. And probably you know Winsor Newton has that opera rose like the 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 pinks. It just goes perfectly together. So um, and then with her bride's palette, I bet it goes really well as well. So I mean and then the, she has this new palette out which. Um, is awesome and I'm going to I'm going to do another video demoing like really demoing that but I, I use it a little bit on this page here I'm going to use it um for the background and, and some things too um but it's just awesome and I, I I'm going to pull in some um acrylics here I don't have any of hers yet but um I just have some craft paints and stuff that I I pulled out to to try out. I don't I don't use a lot of acrylic usually, but I like to use it like watercolor, so I water it down quite a bit. Um, it is nice to cover things up though, because your regular watercolor won't really do that. It's too translucent. So when you need to cover something, I, I do like it for that. And um, here I'm pulling in uh, some, you know, this is my Prismacolor color erase pencil. I like to use those. I like to use regular pencil. I like these though because the lead doesn't smear and turn things gray. Sometimes I want gray though. So, um, you know, either way. But I do like these pencils quite a bit. Um, so I was kind of playing around deciding. I, I just wanted to make this page more exciting some in some way. Um, so her face kind of, you know, came alive with those uh, watercolor or the, the watercolor crayons. And uh, so now I was like, oh, let's add some wings or a crown or a saying, um, you know, just kind of playing around and uh, winging it as I go here. <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, so I wanted to uh, draw her uh, a crown and, and some wings. So um, I don't know. I just I just kind of kept messing around. It took me about an hour before I got to the end of this project. So um, I will speed it up because... You know, you don't probably want to watch me for an hour here, but um, I'll, I'll speed it up. I just wanted to come in and show you these awesome um, pastels. The, the now these ones she has a different set too, power pastels. These ones are again they're the um, aqua pastels, so they're like what they're they're like watercolor crayons, so you can add water. Um, so I'm gonna speed it up a bit here, and then uh, I'll. Uh, Come, I, you'll see me come in a little bit with her brand new watercolor tin, but I am going to have another video where it's, I'm just using her brand new watercolor tin, so you can can check that out and uh, see. Um, um, before I drop off, this is just some Liquitex gesso. I'm just coming in to mute things, push things back a little bit um, for more like ethereal look. So that's a fun technique to do as well. You might enjoy that. Uh, but I'll, I'll go ahead and drop off and uh, you can just watch me uh, finish this uh, two-page spread. And again, I'm using the Jane Davenport journal as well, the small on this one. Um, and uh, yeah, so really excited for her new line of supplies to come out. But um, 
you know, what I've used so far, I've, well, everything of hers I've used so far, I really do like a lot, and it's just perfect for our journaling. So, again, I hope you enjoy, and, uh, you know, comment below, subscribe if you uh, like my videos, and um, would love to see your art, too. So, if you comment below and you're creating with uh, any of these products, or you have a favorite product, I'd love to hear about it. Thank you. Have a great day.